first continuous distribution that will be introduced in this chapter is the uniform distribution. And the uniform distribution will be motivated by the following example. Consider a bicycle tire of radius R. Here is a picture of that bicycle tire. And the stem will be arbitrarily put right there. That's where the air goes in. And there is a puncture position X. Well, somehow we've got to define X on a circular tire. And probably the easiest way to do that is just start from the stem here and define that to be position zero. Move clockwise around the tire until you get back to the stem. And that would be 2 pi R. So if there is a puncture on this tire, you know it happens somewhere between 0 and 2 pi r. I guess if we were being careful, it could happen right at the stem. So one could possibly throw in a less than or equal to there. But in any case, we know that the puncture occurs somewhere. Where would it occur? Well, when you're looking at this, and, and if I tell you there actually was a puncture in the tire, you would say, I have no idea where it occurred. It could occur equally likely all the way around the tire. And because of that, its distribution should reflect the fact that it is equally likely all the way around the tire, of course, in a continuous, not a discrete fashion. And that's what the uniform distribution takes care of. It takes care of a random variable that is uniformly distributed between two values. So in this particular case, we want a probability density function whose support goes from 0 to 2 pi r and in addition is uniformly distributed between 0 and 2 pi r and that would make it look like this and that distribution right there will have height 1 over 2 pi r why does the height have to be 1 over 2 pi r well the reason is you've got to have an area underneath the probability density function of 1. And 2 pi r multiplied by 1 over 2 pi r, that's 1. Don't even need calculus here because this is just simply a rectangle. Well, this particular application here is a special case of the uniform distribution. And it is defined as follows. A continuous random variable x with probability density function f of x equals 1 over b minus a, and that is for x values between a and b, for real constants a and b satisfying a less than b is a uniform ab random variable. The uniform distribution comes up so often that a single letter here will be used to describe it, and the parameters are a and b. Here is a picture of what all uniform distributions look like. Here is A, and here is B. It will be constant between A and B, and the height here will be 1 over B minus A which means if you take this length right here, which is b minus a, and multiply it by 1 over b minus a, you will get 1 as the area underneath the probability density function. This bicycle tire example was a special case of the general uniform distribution where we chose a to be 0 and chose b to be 2 pi r.